Welcome back, everyone, to what's probably the final bit of the game. Or welcome me back. As I fiddle with the top of this thing. How was that for a record speed dinner? So you had a lab coat in the basket. You know anything about that scientist? Oh, he's your partner. Oh, good. Let's get him to turn in his own partner. Let's play dumb. Simon, that's your partner's name. Oh, his clothes were starting to smell, so you washed them for him, huh? Is your partner the guy in this photo? That's what I thought. What's Simon doing here anyway? Research? No, that figures. He's a scientist. Do you know anything specific? Wait, isn't Simon the black guy? So, wasn't he, like, under arrest? Does arrest not mean what it means to us? Does it just mean... A slap on the wrist? He doesn't seem to enjoy his research since he came here. You're allowed to come and go as you please, but he hasn't been outside in months. How's that possible? Tough looking guy is always watching. Means a factory manager, I guess. So Simon is being forced to continue his research. You don't like him because he's always rushing Simon to get stuff done. And he always looks so scary, huh? What is he trying to get Simon to do? He's forcing Simon to make something that they called cells? That must be Mewtwo cells. But wait, in that case... We were told there are only two people in this world that could incubate Mewtwo cells. Dr. Walls himself and his lab assistant. So that must mean Pen Sage's partner is... I was kind of expecting the screen to, like, shake at that revelation. Real anime. Did Pan... Hey, Pansage, did Simon ever work with an old man with a white beard? A long time ago they worked together? <laughs> you see, I feel sorry for the Pansage, really. He seemed to enjoy his work back then, huh? Don't worry, Pansage, we'll, we'll find out the secret of this factory and make sure you guys can go free. The secret of the factory. Is there anything you know about this place? We'd love to have the info. So the factory's manager is scary, but the other workers aren't so bad, huh? They seem really happy when they see you. And they give you treats and stuff? Dude, we could get a treat from him to go do the rope. Well, I think we're getting a good idea of what to do next. We need to get to Simon's room. You know where to go, right? It's the far end of the first floor. We need to find Simon and hear what he can tell us about R. Plus, figure out a rescue plan. Right, but how do we get down to the first floor? We just have one little problem. We got a, got that place pretty well covered right now. But think of it this way. We only need to deal with the factory manager and the two guards to get through. I would say press button. Get help with, from the Pokemon. Give up and go home. <laughs> go big or go coward. That might just work. Let's see. I'm pretty sure Pan Sage will be happy to help us. And Spinarak wanted to get down to the first floor anyway, so I might be willing to help too. Oh yeah, and also we have Excel Core. Speed will definitely be a huge help. Let's figure out one way to get down there. I wonder if this has multiple solutions to it. I doubt it, but... <laughs> oh, it's so adorable! No, stop asking questions. It's time to solve the case notes. We had to click the longest one, didn't we? There's, there's no more testimony for us to gather. I'm just gonna jump into the case notes right away. Hey, let us this time. Maybe. The room we need to get to yep, on okay. the first floor? It's in the back part of the building. Good job. We'll have to decide who's gonna distract the guards. Clearly, Kasselgor. Flip the switch on the conveyor belt. No, no. You distract. You flip switch. You sneak down. Hmm. Interesting you'd think that. Yeah, how dare I think things. Super sped. Treats low. How? Why? Why was that necessary? Okay, got it. Hand Sage will get the guard's attention. 
And during that, Excelgor will turn on the conveyor belt. While everyone is busy dealing with all of that, we'll use Spinarak strength to make our way down to the room. That sounds like a great plan. We big crimes now, boys. And break. Hey, look at me, guys. Hey, look at me. <laughs> he just lands on the button. Oh, shit. I'm still surprised that no one's can, no one's able to find us. Seeing us on the top floor. Alright, so... Oh, do we need to talk to you? Give him his candy? Hurry up with the treat. I promise we're working on it. We'll get it to you, so be patient. We gotta find it first. No, not that door. Uh, electrical system. Is it locked? Or were we just waiting for... Okay. Why is Pan Sage here? You're supposed to be distracting them. Ah, whatever. Ah, uh, yeah, it'd probably be best if we had Pansage here to help us. I was like, oh, these people are nice. Don't, don't be pissy with them. Does he just stand in here staring at the Zill cultures all day? Oh, you're back. Oh, wow. Look at that. No way. Could those be Mewtwo cells? Mm. What? How oh, shit, son. These? How'd you get in here? Who are you? I'm gonna call the alarm. <sighs> Factory manager. We're working this case. Don't worry, we're on your side. Uh, on my side? But... Yo, doctor. Hope all is going well. He's it literally is just a jock. Time, you know? Of course, no problems. Aw, uh, don't look so sad, doc. This is the last shipment. And once it's done, you're free to go. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let you get back to work. <sighs> I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. So, did you mean it when you said you were on my side? No, I lied. How did you know about the cells? <sighs> Sorry to have surprised you. We actually got it from uh, Dr. Walls. I mean the same Walls who was the first director of PCL? He mentioned the cells to you. That must have means he really trusted you. Said you were looking into the incidents? That's right. The reason we want to Dr. Wells is because we needed to know more about R. But it doesn't seem like you're a scientist. Well, my dad is a detective, and he was investigating the incidents involving the R when he exploded. But now he's missing. And, well, we followed the information he had left behind. It led us here. So it seems like you're a pretty good detective yourself. You'd be doing me a favor if you solved this case, too. About six months ago, a tall man brought me here and has been making R, making me make R ever since. Jesus. So, so we have attempted, if not straight up murder. We've got kidnapping, corporate espionage. Uh, any other counts of anything real bad going on there? I mean, I suppose we could count every incident of Pokemon's going insane to be. Um, terrorism. And, uh, illegal arms dealing. This is very crime. Much big crimes. Isn't there some talk of you being freed soon? Yeah, apparently the factory will be moving soon. All I need to do is assist them until then. Not that I believe that they'll really let me go. Even if they're telling the truth, R is not something that should exist in this world. I'm happy to help you out. Kill. Cure. Cure. Disgusting. Couldn't get around to washing the blankets. Container in Wallace's lab. I've seen that name come up in some publications. He's one of the top researchers in his field. In the same cell cultures, but he has the giant Pokemon cells in his. Thanks for the help earlier. You were able to make our, help us make our way here. You don't care if I have to. You don't care if you have to stay so long as Simon can go free. What a good Pokemon. Don't worry, Pansage, we'll figure something out. We have some invest we have some vested interest in this. 
Is this the machine they said they carried in from the wharf? Oh, it looks more like a tank than a machine to me. Good job, Detective Pikachu. Mewtwo cells look... You didn't even look at them. Again, flavor text that is very bland. They're cans of some sort of health food. Oh, uh, yeah. Is that if we take one? Well, sure, but I can't imagine why you'd want one. Because we're not liars, and we're not cheats. Yes. He was the director of PCL when I first joined. Eventually, he started to let me help out with his own research. Even the explosion at PCL is half my fault. But the professor took full responsibility and left. I wanted to follow him, but he wouldn't let me. Well, it seems like he was able to find a nice, quiet place to settle down in. That's good to hear. I've been worried about him ever since the accident. R is created using Mewtwo cells, right? Dr. Walls told us that there was some mistake uh, they used instead of Mew's cells. Oh, that's right, we made a mistake. Mew is a very rare Pokemon, after all. Dr. Walls looked everywhere he could to get a hold of its cells, and he must have been tricked by someone. Not everyone can be trusted, unfortunately. Hmm. So I wonder if it was like a setup from the very beginning. I read it to this day. That's how we ended up creating this terrible substance known as R. Dr. Walls told us the effects of R were likely caused by Mewtwo's berserk gene. <laughs> Let's learn the rich lore of the berserk gene. In order to explain that, I'll need to tell you more about the Pokemon Mewtwo. So the Mewtwo was created by recombining Mew's genes. Recombining? Now, in order to make it extremely aggressive. Seems like it was some sort of experiment to create a powerful Pokemon. Yeah. So this recombination gene is the berserk gene. That's right, and because that gene was the one that we used, R became what it is now. This is my dad in the photo. Have you seen him? It seems like he infiltrated this place about two months ago. I can't say that I have, sorry. Although two months ago is when the factory manager got very upset, saying R was stolen from the chemical storage area. That must have been my dad. Everyone here was frantically trying to find the intruder. Since then, they have really stepped up security. How the fuck are we gonna get out of here? <laughs> no wonder Keith was after Harry. We found out a lot, but there was something he said that got my attention. Chemical storage area. Wonder if that's where he got the photo of R2. You were in the photo too, weren't you? Yeah, must have been in the factory before. I've been feeling that way ever since we entered this place. Wonder if you'll remember anything if we go to the chemical storage area. Yeah, I don't... This amnesia hasn't worked that way thus far, so... I don't know about that. We <laughs> might find some clue about Harry. Let's ask Simon and see if we can get into the storage area. Yeah, do you have a secret passageway I can take? Just, like, punch down a wall? Right above this room. Info on R should be there, too. It's probably locked, but you can get open with this key. Ah, oh, kick ass. Are you sure this is wise? They find out you're helping me. If anything happens to me, the production of R will stop completely. So they can't really do much. Just be careful that you're not caught. One, one more thing. R is in the storage that gets shipped out once we have enough. Depending on the timing, the storage could be empty. I'll take a look anyway. You said it was the last shipment, right? So where, it's, where is it being shipped to? That, I do... Yeah, like they would share that with the actual scientist. I've got an idea about how we can find out. I'll start preparing for that. Just leave it to me. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, at this point, I think it's just time to leave. Unless we're going to solve anything before we leave. Mm, this infiltration thing is hard work. Uh, I should eat to get more energy? No, that's all right. I'm good. Uh, really? I'm good. <laughs> Wait, is the thing on his head edible? Huh. Yeah, I mean, I suppose we ate the banana off of a tripatakarkaber, tar fl flying leaf monster man. So these are Mewtwo cells. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What a revelation. Are we just supposed to leave now? Oh, jeez. Like, there's no attempt at secrecy. We're just outside now. I think, do we... The one... 
He said the one right above, right? So we're supposed to climb up. All right, here you go, Spinarak. Here you go, man. The smell's enough to make me choke. Do you think you could wait on opening it to pull us up first? He said it, there was a secret room up here? That was the storage, but we needed a key to open it? Uh, it must have been the... That thing that I couldn't get past before. As far as nobody's noticed that we were doing anything yet. Aw, oh, boxes got put in the way. Oh, do we have to uh, box push? Is that what's going on here? Um, We need to make a path to the storage area, so think carefully as you move things. Alright, so let's see. That can get pushed forward and move to the left or right. That can get pushed just forward and that's it. It gets stuck. Um, but if I, yeah, if I push that one forward, push that one to the side, we're good. So that's how we get over there. But I need to have access to both of those. Push left, up, right, up, middle to the left, right to the right. Okay, got it. Actually, I have to press A for each one and then watch a dumb cutscene. Oh, my favorite. There's no way he'd be able to push this stuff. That has got to be really heavy. And this is a proper Pokemon puzzle, though, so there's that, I guess. We're eliminating all of our hiding spots. Yep! No, 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 don't push that way. <laughs> There we go. Everything's beautifully stored away. Chemical storage. This room is familiar. Mm. I'm getting indigestion. I'm really close to remembering something. Are you gonna bolt your brilliance at me? Our report plan. An outline for their plans. Seems like Keith is going to export our. If R gets used all over the world, it'll be chaos. It, who benefits from that? Like, villains don't just do villainy things, because why not? I, I get that this is a Saturday morning kids cartoon level of villainy, but still. The biggest problem we face is that R can only be produced using the machine under PCL. We must purchase a new production facility and establish a stable manufacturing system as soon as possible. We completed the purchase of the location a few days ago. The warehouse on Rhyme Wharf will be our first step in establishing a base of operations. Now we must find a wealthy patron who is comfortable keeping secrets. Who is that? Currently in the process of using my underground connections to establish contacts among upper-class citizens. Once we manage to get those contacts, we should be able to use that network to reach out and expand our sales. So yeah, they're just, they're just literally selling weapons. Stink bombs, except massive damage. Grenades, maybe? Yeah. The, the, the usages are very minimalistic. Temporarily use a warehouse at Rhyme Wharf as our base, but our ultimate goal is to move our production machinery overseas and establish a large-scale production facility. Yeah, that's not happening. Some kind of document behind the box. Our experimentation report. Carlos is the author. It must be from before we went to PLC. R has different properties, depending on whether it is in liquid or gas form. It allows it to be used in different ways depending on the situation. Both forms are nearly odorless, and only Pokemon with very acute senses of smell have any chance of detecting it. The balloon used to cause the incident at the amusement park is the perfect example of R's properties as a gas. Dispersed by popping the balloon, the dispersal radius is approximately 3 feet, which is sufficient for most needs. The best way to utilize R's in its liquid form is to inject it into food. R's effects are amplified with uh, when the two types of liquid, red and green, are mixed together. In fact, the easiest way to gain the effects of R's is to inject the red and green liquid separately into food. R's effects will be amplified for any Pokemon that consumes the food. Here we lay out our potential future development of R. Currently, R is transported using special vials. However, these vials break easily. In order to prevent efficient mixing of the liquids, we've begun working on a capsule form to counter these drawbacks. By storing R in a durable capsule device, my hope is to improve its portability while reducing the risk of damage. Additionally, I plan to incorporate a device that allows the two separate liquids 
to be mixed whenever the user chooses. In other words, the capsule device will allow a user to disperse the mixed R automatically with no restrictions on time or place. There still exists a need to gather more experimental data and improve R. Currently, R has two major drawbacks. Its effects are temporary, and it is impossible to communicate with a Pokémon under the influence of R. My plan is to continue research on R in order to develop a new version that will allow the power-enhancing effects to last for an extended period of time, while also allowing the Pokémon partner to communicate with it. Hey, Jack. Did you just get out of work or something? Jeez. I am aware. And I'm not saying that. That's dumb. Well, that's everything on that. Hey, just go back and watch the VODs. I'm not describing what's happening thus far. <laughs> Talk about top secret documents. Keith is trying to develop R into an even more dangerous substance. But now I know exactly what his plans are. He's making preparations to export R. <sighs> wow. What insightful commentary. We've got to stop Keith. <clears throat> got to stop Keith's plans. How the hell are we going to get out of here, though? And also, like, we've arrested people in the past and nothing happened, so... What are the police going to do? Just show up with a... <laughs> that sounds dangerous. He saw it before. I don't know. I'm not sure. Do you think you could open it up? Oh, it's that same canister so as the one in the picture. Is... Hmm. I could swear that I've seen this thing before. Well, let's open it and see what's inside. <laughs> yeah, I'm not playing League. Safe before we... Never happening. Pikachu! This is why I didn't want you to open it yet. Pikachu. Pikachu. Absolutely, what the hell? Does R have something to do with the body switch? Or is it Mewtwo entirely? It's psychic powers Pikachu. or whatever. Pikachu! Pikachu! Uh, Pikachu! Oh yeah. I guess that wasn't a dream at all. Pikachu. Hmm? Oh, Tim, hi. Are you alright? I knew you shouldn't have opened that up. Yeah, but it made me remember something. I talked with a Mewtwo once. It would seem I made quite the commitment. <laughs> yeah, he's probably pretty pissed about that, although I'm surprised he's not doing anything about it himself. He probably could just lift up the entire building and drop it in the ocean. I promise to recover the Berserk gene and capture the mastermind of the whole R case. Uh, okay. So it's not that Mewtwo wanted to just destroy it. He wanted to root it out who it was entirely and, like, torture that person. Sounds good to me. I was pleading with Mewtwo to save Harry. My guess is it offered to help me if I was able to help it out first. Why would it rely on you to just do such an important thing? <laughs> I'm a great detective. What do you mean? I can't remember the details, but still. Something tells me you've made up that last bit. That still doesn't explain why he behaves like Harry only after the accident. Maybe one day. Maybe one day the game will make sense. I'm really hoping it actually gives an explanation for it. And it just doesn't get to the end and say, Hello, welcome, this is Campy. We've accidentally wow, too so much far, Campy. So yeah. Now we can't go back. Whoops. Tim, close the door now. <laughs> close the door. Hurry. Hold it, pal. Hey now, who are you? Uh -oh. Wow, your security's good. real great. Open this door. <clears throat> what should we do? He's gonna get us, Pikachu. Oh no, the jock's gonna break in. Seems we're trapped. Like we're trapped in a cage. Remember we brought in Exelgor with us? Up. Are you ready? You gotta open up the door just as he tries to smash into it. Got it. <clears throat> This is so ridiculous. Pikachu, 
you. Let's use that. You're done. Yeah, lock him in again. I'm coming after you. Excelgor, distract him for us. Excelgor. Oh, yeah? You want to fight? <laughs> I'm literally going to go fisticuffs with the Pokemon. Let's just murder him. That's fine. Attempted murder. Not even meant so. You think this will stop me? What is this Saturday morning cartoon bullshit? Well, apparently not. Where are you? I'm coming for you. Good luck with that. Tip. Now's our chance. Still not dead. Why didn't we just hide in the room and send Excelgor out? Hey, remember that place we're trying to find? Just, like, send the cops now, please. Oh, perfect. There's a container right here. Everyone's dead. It is a very standard crate, although tube. those are usually made out of cardboard. Go on. Get in. Really? What's it for anyway? The product being shipped today. Guys from the organization will take it. So that should get you right to their headquarters. I don't know. It's our only clue. We've got to take this chance. All right, then. Please take this to Mr. Baker. Your notes on their plans. Great idea, Tim. We're counting on you, Excel Gore. Excel Gore! Damn, we lost Can literally we our entire really? offensive capability. Right. And we never even you. used it. But what about you? I'll be fine. Don't worry. Be super careful. Good luck to you both. Yeah, that box doesn't like even lock in place or anything. It's just a just a cover. Eight of nine. Almost done. Stayed as quiet as we could in there. In a cardboard box. The safety of gods. No, this doesn't have the mark. It's just food. That should be it then. Yep, we better get moving. Chief Norman is not a very patient guy. That's for sure. That is some terrible audio compression effects they're using. My 3DS's sound card is from the 1980s. Here, let me help you. Hey, stop treating me like a Pokemon. <sighs> what a joke. Freedom at last. Yeah, how long were we in there? Storage space. It looks like a factory. I agree. But they mentioned Keith's name. Think it's their base? Mm, I'm not sure if it's their base, but we know the containers with R in them were taken to him. Now what? We look for R, and then I'll bet you we find Keith. Sounds good. Let me to punch me. him right Let's in his dumb face. Maybe Soy Boy will stop being so soy by then. Certainly no guarantees. Where did the containers go? Let's follow the trail, Tim. Thanks for telling me. I wouldn't have been able to figure that one out on my own. We're on a ship now, yeah? Like, what kind of arms dealers working in this scenario? Or are they just shipping stuff uh, non-discreet? They don't have their own shipment channels. Let's go get caught really quick. Uh, can I go to the right? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Good job. Wait, is that in the lowland? A low one? Yeah, it is. This goofy little mustache. It's a more subdued coloring than usual, and its body shape is a little different. You're not sure you got lost and ended up here after wandering around aimlessly? Sounds like my life. The food where you were before was fresher, but you made a friend here. So it's the best? That's good, I guess. 
You don't know. You were too busy talking to your friend here to pay attention. Beautiful. Let's not ask them for testimony in the future. <laughs> the best? It's that good? It is the best place? You don't get any other descriptors, though. You've got a lot of food. You've also made a good friend. Wait, have we met you before? You say that they came through here? They headed up the elevator after we passed? Unless the elevator is, like, requires passwords or something. Certainly hope not. Doesn't seem like that kind of place. Oh, I can't even go that way. Fuck security. We're just gonna go straight up the elevator. Whatever. Let's be careful, Tim. Okay. Yeah. Oh, now you say it. Uh, no? Okay. That was legit ex Oh, it's the cruise ship! Oh, and you know what? That also probably kind of plays into the... ...rich customers that they're trying to sell their shit to. Is it some kind of resort? Pikachu actually has a little bit of like an eye structure, bone structure to his face, and that changes with the eyes. Resort in the middle of the sea? Some of the other Pokemon so. is literally just a texture painted on that changes. Ah, this is what's called a luxury cruise ship. Oh boy, aren't we sheltered? It was the cruise ship all along. Cruise They're ship the ones. Stuff? Yeah, it makes sense. <clears throat> this is no good. If so, we need to find Keith, and quickly. Right. Have you seen Keith? Maybe someone saw the men carrying the container. Let's ask around the deck. Do you think uh, stage 9 is going to be in space? With a super battle between Mewtwo and something else? The service is fantastic. The food here is also first class. Couldn't imagine using any other ship for traveling. Wow. Oh, we need to ask the men. <laughs> about the men of the luggage. Good. We're not paying attention. Of course, that's how vacation works. Just shut off your brain. This is my first time on the prime treasure. I plan to enjoy it as much as I can. I don't think I saw anyone like that. I was too busy enjoying the view of the sky. That thing I can literally look at anywhere on the entire planet. If there's any problem, please don't hesitate to let us know. Should you wish to use the pool, we have towels available as well. Oh, how nice. Even though we're technically stowaways, so we're not supposed to be here. I have not seen them. That's very strange, though. We usually only allow freight to be moved around at night, when all of our customers have retired. They must have done it through a secret entrance somewhere. Although the elevator only had two floors. Up and down. We always come on board this ship for the carnival. You get a great view of the parade. The ship is a very special place for us. This is where my husband proposed to me. They're somehow still together. Sounds lovely. What kind of bouquet was it? You should ask my husband. I have not seen anyone come this way. Yes, we're making heavy progress. Meh. My wife and I always come on board this ship when the carnival season gets near. Here's carnival is going to be great, too. No men with luggage again. My bouquet? Oh, did my wife tell you about that? Man. Well, you see, the bouquet is actually fireworks. That's a large fireworks display before the parade at night, and so, you know, I call them my bouquet for her. Oh, I see. That sounds, um, last second bullshitting. <laughs> the most romantic kind. Too big and confusing. So you get lost. The drinks would cool off by the time you get to where you're going. That's why you don't serve any hot beverages. It's big enough that you get lost even if you work here. Well, that's what you get for having textures for eyes. You say, I should take a swim. Ah, yeah. Yeah, that would be good. Let's throw that electric Pokemon in there. You just shake them up first. You bet this because I can't swim? Yeah. That's what it is. Everyone's just lying around and nobody seems to want to go for a swim. Adults are like that, you know? 
bunch of fat asses. It's always super clean and fun to be here. You ride the ship often? You've been on it a lot of times. Yay! None of you are telling me about men. No luggage. Doesn't ring a bell. And I really don't need any more of this flavor text. I don't think anybody's telling me about the men anymore. Oh, I could just go up the stairs. Okay. Just gonna let me do that. Would you not drop frames, please? Would you stop? My rider's taking a shit on itself. Passengers on the ship are fairly high profile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's probably they're they're probably routing the supplies through the ship because of the fact that they found connections that are willing to buy them, so they have a vested interest in them making making it to their destination. I saw them pass by, they were headed towards the lounge. Finally! Jebsus. Yes, Pikachu? I'd love to. Maybe you shouldn't interrupt me in the process. I already talked to her. I have no idea which way the lounge is in. It just pops us up top. I don't know if I'd enjoy an environment like this. It could be interesting. Maybe once. It just seems like a really, really good place to eat and drink a lot. It's like... Oh, it's it's literally it's a hotel party, but out on the ocean, so you literally can't leave the party. What better time to get shit faced? Can't help you there. I guess they didn't come this way. You can get a great view of the fireworks for the from the carnival. They don't start until the evening, but I can't wait. Cause that, that's just foreshadowing. We're gonna see the fireworks during the finale of the battle between the Yakuzis. Dude, wasn't uh, like Yakuza four? It wasn't Zero. I think it was Four that had a big final battle on a cruise ship. Instead of on... Would you talk to me? <laughs> Instead of it being on a, um... A tower. Like all of the rest of the games. Where the hell... Would you kindly let me walk in that direction? No? Like, literally, it was just to talk to those two people. That's, the, that's what the stairs were for. Where... The <laughs> I guess that's the lounge, even though that's how we came in. Yeah, it doesn't let us go up and down the stairs either. And that's fine. And we can't break into people's rooms, right? Damn. And walk in on someone. I think the music is trying to be forgettable. Did I drink all my coffee yet? I did not. Oh, wow. This is impressive. Everything is super luxurious. <laughs> Again, the sheltered is, th is showing through. Uh, yeah, let's get some more of that flavorless text. Thank you, old man. Dude, what if somebody was doing this in real life, just running around? Hello, what do you think about the luxury ship? It's good, I guess. Thank you for your useless input. I may have seen those people that just went up the stairs behind me. Cool. Was that it? Didn't he have another thing to say? Can I have a drink? Welcome. He was the only one that was voiced. As well as snacks and light meals, Frillish will deliver anything you order. Also, the drinking age is lower in Japan, so we can totally get one. Just do it. Give me a coffee. We're gonna order something? We're in the middle of investigating. Alright, alright. Uh, Welcome. What did he say about the frillish? Ah. The frillish that are not carrying anything are there to help customers with their bags. Don't know why we need to know that. That's useless information. But we're detectives, right? Our job is to find all information and immediately condemn bad information. The fuck is this? There's water inside the ship. This seems like a terrible idea. Like, I, I get the cool aesthetic of it, but what if the ship does a little bit of this? There will be water everywhere. 
Unless there's like an emergency drain button so that the water doesn't spill over everywhere during a storm. I guess. I mean, then you create somebody whose job is literally to watch the water level to make sure it doesn't fall over. And then everybody's ticket price goes up by a few cents. That'd be good. I'd be a good daughter for once and get tickets for me and my mother. The atmosphere is relaxing. The food is good. I can't imagine a more boring trip. Did you need something? Yes, I'm bothering everyone. <laughs> I've been on cruises many times. This is... Yay. Tim, you're so nice. You're so pure of heart. Are you, are you a Disney princess? Boyfriend got tickets for me. This is our first cruise. It's a pretty impressive ship. I was quite surprised. Hey there, isn't this ship wonderful? Oh, it's a perfect place to spend time with my real friend. Literally just asking people about their day. I'd love to hear their con- I'd love to place bugs on all of them and listen to their conversations after I leave. Let's see. So they just went up the stairs, but other than that, we don't know where they went. Okay, I'm bored from time to time because Ninetales seems to enjoy it. So much space. Oh yeah, do you enjoy it, Ninetales? Cool. That sounded a hell of a lot like a Mario jump noise. Cool. Like everything... Like, Magnemite was literally just... <laughs> and, you, and you just use a MIDI. Okay. Not gonna argue. It says the house uh, it normally lives in is similar, but the ship has more space, so it likes it better here. Oh, so you just want a bigger... Why don't you just let him stay outside? Be a better solution to the problem. That's funny. They're they're just sunglasses. We can't go in. We're we're not um we're not wearing a rich enough suit and tie. We're not allowed to go in. Do you guys, uh, did you guys carry some luggage through here this way? They went inside. Well, yeah, obviously. We just need to make a distraction. I don't know, like, knocking the boat over. But if the lounge is where R went, then that's the room we need to investigate. So you and I need to find a way in. Uh, go tattle to the captain that they're not playing nice and sharing the lounge. What are you gonna do? Beat them up in a fight? I mean, that's gonna happen. Yeah, how the hell do we get around that? That's not helping us. I wish they post things a bit lower. What does it say? A deck plan. Map of the ship. Looks like we can use the elevator to go to different floors. Big enough as it is, and now you're telling me there are multiple floors. The bridge is on the top floor. So, cafe here, we're trying to get to the lounge, we can go up to the bridge. So yeah, literally the only place that we haven't gone is the bridge. God, this game is linear. Not that I mind, I think it would become way too tedious if it wasn't. Uh, are these not elevators? Am I missing something here? It must be. Or maybe we just don't have a reason to go up the elevators yet. And you're not helping. How does one produce the distraction? Ah, I just need to uh, make the thing. Oh no! What the hell are you doing what here? What are you doing here? I'm here for Fuck. work. <sighs> Apparently, watching the parade from this ship is popular among celebrities. But what brought you guys here? We're still on the trail of Keith. The clues led us here. Mary Jane, go but home. What would Keith have to do with this cruise? Well, we don't know for sure, but he must be on the ship at least. We do know that he's smuggling R. Oh no! If that stuff gets out into the world, it'll be a disaster. You've got to let me help you find Keith, all right? I appreciate that, but, uh... I can help you gather information, since I'm a reporter. Thank you, Pikachu. You're lightening the scene. Maybe she's right. Yeah, we could probably use her help. Pikachu! Mmm, just go, I'd like, strip dance for the Pokemon. Either, but we could use some help. Okay. We're counting on you, Amelia. You're searching for Keith, right? Is there anything you want to know? I, I know it's just story contrivance that she keeps showing up, but 
Kind of makes me think that she's working with the bad guys. This is one of the most luxurious ships in the world, the SS Prime Treasure. I would never have expected them to use the ship for smuggling. You know where the ship is headed? Don't, sorry. Ship apparently travel all over the world. And destinations are decided by requests from the passengers. How did you get on board? <laughs> we infiltrated the Ark Factory, and we snuck onto the one of the containers they were shipping out. And carried us on board, just like that. How could you do something so reckless? Um, I don't know. Like, literally everything we've been doing this entire game. It's one of the least reckless things we've done. The back. Room at the back of the second floor. I didn't even notice it. Well, yeah, but it's guarded by uh, jackasses wearing sunglasses indoors. Yeah, how would you get them out of the way? Actually, a collection in my own notes. Write down anything that might be useful. Whenever I get a chance to see one of those various Pokedexes. Wait, you made all of this by hand? <laughs> a handwritten Pokedex. That sounds tedious. Electric moves won't have any effect. Pikachu will be at a disadvantage in battle. Oh, well, that's too bad. You know, because I totally would have used my Thunder Shock at them. But we might be able to find a, a little bit of the room we are using. Uh, the cruise newspaper has a schedule of all the events that occur on the ship. Thanks. Impressive name, the Prime Treasure Show. This is Warframe now. The Show. The single one show. <clears throat> Mako and I are working separately this time. I'm in charge of covering this ship. I'm mostly done, though. The only thing I have left is an interview. First, well, the famous chef, Jean Fariana. You mean THE Jean Fariana? You know him, Pikachu? Yes, I don't remember any of my past, or how to use special moves, but you know what? I know of this uh, obscure chef on a boat. But it's so popular you can't even get a reservation. Apparently he's a friend of Mr. Graham. So we've been able to get a special interview with him. Ah, goddammit, is Graham... Is Graham with the, the trafficking? Is that how, uh... What's-his-face got into the, the TV show in the first place? Giraham. You're good enough to come with me. I wonder what kind of show it is. I don't know anything about it. Why is the GPU's... Ah, I must be keeping the encoder cool. Thanks to you, we know the name of the show now. I'll ask around if anybody knows about it. Once we finish the interview, I'll try to find out what I can about the show. In order... <laughs> it's an order sheet for drinks. You hand to the frillish, they bring you back what you ordered. Thanks, but why do I need one? Is that going to be a puzzle? Yay. That's a lifesaver. Once we're done gathering testimony, let's get some coffee. Can we get coffee now while we're solving testimonies? Really, you have to wait until she walks out of the screen before I can control the camera again. The best clue we have so far is the show that's supposed to be held in that room. Let's find out more about it. Okay. Hey, Tim. Jesus. Let's ask her. Mhm. Mm Welcome. Seems to show that's almost a tradition on the ship. Customers complain of not getting seats, but I've never heard of anyone say that they've uh, seen it. <laughs> that's funny. Just a, it's just a mystical show. A hypothetical show, if you will. You know about it? I don't know anything about that. I'm really not interested in events or anything. That's my man! You go to a party to party. You don't go to a party to see panels. Oh, there's a show like that on this ship? I don't even know. So we need to talk to rich people. Must be quite the show, especially since the ship's name is part of the title. I'd love to see it. Maybe I should ask my daughter. And then both get disappointed because you can't get in. Again. That show. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, of course, that show. My girlfriend wanted to see it, so I tried to get her tickets. When I booked a reservation, even then we didn't manage to get seats. If anyone would be willing to uh, part with their ticket, I'd pay anything if they asked. I 
don't know why you can't ask like groups of people. You have to turn your back on one, talk to them, turn your back on the other one, talk to the other person. I don't think there's anyone here who's been to the Prime Treasure Show. Let's go talk to people on deck. You can leave through the exit facing the cafe. Yeah, this way, right? Can't break into people's rooms still, right? Who would have thought that we'd run into Amelia on this ship? You know what? That's called destiny. That's called plot contrivance. <laughs> I like both of these answers. What are you panicking about? It's nothing to do with you. It's just me and Amelia. <laughs> Yeah, I know. She, she real, really wants to jump on that, huh? That, uh... That Pikachu you got going on there. I would strongly disagree. You ever heard about the show? Didn't even realize the ship had anything like that. Um... It'd be drink ladies, would it? Nope. We just need to run into the one person that knows about it. So, so it sounds like the Prime Show is again another front for something. I didn't mention the ship's newspaper. What kind of show it is? Hmm, it's the man who watches the stars. The Prime Treasure Show. I didn't even know they had a show like that. Did you just copy and paste the same text for everybody now? You work on the ship. You know about it, right? I hear the tickets are completely sold out. We do have many other events planned on board the ship, so I might suggest everyone enjoy those instead. You've been here for years. So you know about the show, right? You can only see on this ship. I admit I'm curious, but they say tickets are impossible to come by. Like a million dollars a piece. And, and it's an auction. It's a dinosaur auction. Leg... What about leg? Can't say I've ever heard of it. I'm not a big fan of shows, to be honest. Having to sit still and watch just isn't my thing. Ah, a man of a movement. Do Pokemon know anything? Yes, of course, the Pokemon that are stuck in the pool. Literally, how the fuck does the Lapras get out of there? You mean that show? Nope. Nothing. You lying to me? Glad you could tell. Aren't they adorable? Don't care. They're fluffy and glossy. Thanks, Pikachu. Definitely needed that. Okay. So we've asked everybody out here as well. Do we need to find a Frillish that isn't uh, serving anyone right now? Oh, there's one up there. Did you stop? Fru? Says if we're ordering drinks to go order from the Frillish on the first floor. I guess one's up here is handling some kind of other job. Says it does have a job on the ship, but now isn't the time for work. Sounds like an awful lot of excuses. It's on the lookout. For anyone snooping as usual. Where the hell is the Frillish on the first floor? Can I place a drink order with this one? Because it has drinks. I don't care about your opinions. You'll take your orders? I'm getting coffee, Tim. Black, naturally. I'll write that down. Now what should I have? An iced coffee? How much sugar we want. And then how many drinks to order? One for you, one for me, so two if you're finished. Why? Why the hell did that need to be a thing? I really gotta get an icer for my coffee. I can't throw ice in fresh coffee because then it just tastes like water. A reverse vacuum that has an ice chamber in the center of it. 
He sure has some nerve planning to smuggle R on a luxury cruise like this. Cruise ship clearly has something to do with it. It's not like, he's not doing it independently of the ship. I'm almost certain they've carried R into the hall, but we need more information. I don't think talking to people is going to get us anything new, though. We should meet up with Amelia. Also, we've, like, given away our position, too, so, like, I'm surprised no one has discovered we're on the ship looking for them. Let's head back to the lounge. This is literally just padding out content. Look, guys, we modeled the ship. You want to do stuff? No, talk to everyone means nothing. Pokemon battle in the hallway. What? It's coming from this room. You hear Excuse that me, noise, hello? you ask Is if someone's okay? alright. I'm having sex. I'm sorry about that. A strange thing was in my bag. Sorry to make such a scene, but it frightened me. Huh? Could I ask you? To take a look. Yes, of course. This, this isn't. This isn't okay. <laughs> this is not okay. What in the world? A severed head. <laughs> what is this twist happening all of a sudden? Mask. Isn't it scary looking? Maybe it's some sort of prank. My poor Snubble was quite frightened as well. Hmm. Is it really that scared? Let's see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor thing. Knock it off, Pikachu. <laughs> Sorry, I guess it really was scared. This is a real mystery, which means a job for us. Really? Because we can't get into the room in the back, we have to solve the mystery of the old woman's sudden mask happening. I use it for traveling. I had all of my clothing and personal items. Just this morning before I got on the ship. And did you have the suitcase with you the entire time? No, I checked it with the, the ship's staff once I got on board. Collected it at the front desk, and Snubble helped me carry it to my room. Wanted to get my favorite lap blanket out. <laughs> when I opened the suitcase, it had that mask inside. Where would my suitcase have gone? I've never seen anything like it. It's rather unsettling. There must be a mistake somewhere. Yeah, that definitely seems like something that you would throw in an auction on an affluently populated boat. It's a gentle, sensitive darling. Wasn't the Snubble in... What was the... The pre-movie... Before Pokemon 2000, I think? And the Snubble was a big dickhead? And Pikachu got carried away. You'll be friends with Snubble, won't you, Pikachu? Yeah, I, I won't, um... I won't punch him in the face or anything. Well, that's it. I can't believe this is our case now. Sorry about it earlier, I was just getting around. <laughs> Still pretty scared. Let's leave it until it calms down a bit. Yeah? Can't can't gather testimony? That's fine. Antique or something? Does look strange, but how about valuable? Is it like the uh, violin? A legit thing that got traded with something else and trying to sell it? Amazing. Must have been some slip up with the bag. Someone grabbed the wrong suitcase. Mr. Milton, Mrs. Milton, we should have one of the crew check around for your suitcase. I think it might have been accidentally swapped with someone else's. Oh, he's a friend of mine. I'll go look for him. Here, let me come along too. I'll carry the suitcase. Yeah, cool. Hey, I get it. If we solve this, we'll get into the show. Yeah, I suppose that works. Serendipity much? Picture of my husband back when we were young. This was his favorite jacket. He would always wear it for special occasions and outings. The necktie looks great on him, too. Thank you, old man Pikachu. Your input is greatly appreciated. Eh, that's too bad. 
We're using a widow to try to break into weapons smuggling. We are an adventurous little fry, aren't we? The Henri brothers were truly brilliant. Their meals were loved by Pokemon and people. Henri? Between you and me, I'm close to recreating one of their recipes. You mean the famous lost recipe? How is that possible? <laughs> That's a trade secret. I figured as much. That's it for the interview. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, anytime. Especially if you're doing the interview. Oh, my goodness. There you are, Captain Eckhart. Hmm? Well, hello there, Miss Rose. How can I help you? This may sound odd, but I'm afraid my bag has been swapped with someone else's. Look at this. I don't recognize any of the contents. Any of the contents. I'm so sorry to hear that. We'll look into it. I really appreciate it. Tim, hello. Mm, another mystery for you? Hey, I see you weren't being a big no, dick bag now. Not really. You know... I think I've seen this mask on the news. Is it they super valuable? <laughs> oh boy. Stolen. Impossible. <sighs> There's an awful lot of strange things going on on this ship. I say we just burn it to the ground. Casualties be damned. That'll solve all the problems. <laughs> Mewtwo shows them. He's like, fucking hell, you were supposed to find the guy, not kill him. That's my job. Thank you for your help, too, Mr. Goodman. I will be at the bridge, so please stop by should you need anything. You know the bridge is, right? For the control the ship. Wow, thank you. Uh-huh. Well, then, Mr. Graham, I'll see you again when we have our interview. I think I'll head back to my room, too. Thank you for everything, Tim. Please stop by if you had time. I'll give you hard candies. And my company. Yeah, man. Just like little just sacks. Great. I'm not saying that on stream. <laughs> I think you're the dude that stole yeah. it. <laughs> Although that would kind of fit into the like the whole show being an auction house for a bunch of rich people. Literally an illegal auction house right underneath everyone's noses. I asked if I could participate in an interview, so I was doing my best to oblige. I take it you were uh, talking about cooking? No, 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 no. Golfing. Golfing's my passion. Even though I'm a famous chef. Jesus Christ, Tim. We discussed a lot of different things. How to spend time on luxury cruise liners, how best to enjoy the Pokemon Carnival, about running restaurants, and about the future of food and cooking. Uh, that's quite a range of topics. I'm looking forward to watching the show. I still can't believe a crime would be committed on an elegant ship like this. You know. You know, not like weapon trafficking or anything. I've never even seen a mask like that, though. Okay, he was the only one who reacted to the mask. And now he's protesting without anybody giving him any provocation to. And if it was a really stolen item. So much we don't know. Whatever it was, I'm glad the captain has it. He'll keep it safe. Is the captain in on it, too? Like we got that guy as the leader of, like, all of New Wave Television in the purple suit. And we got this guy who's, like, a stupid famous chef. The captain's probably in it. Jeez, we're, we're gonna un unravel, like, the entire upper echelon of society. It just all happens to be run by crime. We're gonna get, get a big old Yakuza speech in a final fight or something. It's quite popular. I'd like to see it myself. I witnessed it firsthand. So many draws, many people. Cool. You're boring. Good luck with everything. I'd very much like to have an interview with you. Once you've cracked this R case, though, those ratings should be amazing. Eh, that's your job, man. I mean, do we ever think about anything but detectiving? Oh, shit, he has things to say. You have an interview with the captain? Yeah, we figured the captain of a ship like this would be worth talking to. Yay. Yeah, I suppose he would have a lot of famous friends if the clientele are the ones on the ship the way they are. But I didn't expect there to be a mystery about the suitcase. Don't say it like that. 
I think this is going to be a very interesting interview. So thank you, Tim. Don't thank me. Who would have thought it was a stolen mask? Yeah, you shouldn't have opened your mouth there, chatty McRedhead. Who would have thought that it was a... The case that you're following is very interesting, and I... Stolen mask, right? Super expensive. Why the hell would you get it mixed up in the luggage? Oh, I mean, everybody in this world is incompetent because Pokemon let people just kind of not be good at stuff. We haven't invented firearms. Somehow hearing this guy say it annoys me. Giorno Giovanna. I know every other for each... Uh, he was just sitting straight as a chef, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we can ask him about the show. Do you go to the show? I don't know anything about it. Of course you wouldn't. Why not check the Captain Eckhart, though? Captain should know everything that happens aboard his ship. Well, either he does and he's crime lord number one, or he doesn't and he's a terrible captain. Neither of which are a good outcome. Okay. So I'm done with my interview. I'll try and help your investigation. Mr. Garum's already given me permission. Uh, about the show. Are we able to find out anything? The thing is, we found out that we can't find anything specific. Hey, hey boy, you want to try that again? There were a lot of people saying that they couldn't get tickets. An unnatural amount, really. I've told Mr. Graham I'll be helping investigate R. He says GNN is happy to help in any way. Oh, but he said in exchange he wants an interview. Well, we already basically said, okay. I should have guessed. You wouldn't miss out on this opportunity. What exactly was mentioned about it in the news you saw? They were saying it had been stolen from an art museum. I think it was about three months ago. It was a big deal since the mask is apparently very valuable. Pikachu just, without a care in the world, throws it on his face to kick a snubble in his... Keith isn't the only bad guy out there. It's possible that this thief brought this mask here with the hopes of selling it to someone. Or everyone. God, there's gotta be an auction. I have an appointment with the captain at the bridge later on. So he'll be conducting the interview? Yes, although Mr. Graham seems to want to ask about the incident. It's still on your mind, too, isn't it? Yes, the case still hasn't been solved. I'm gonna go ahead and ask about the parade like I had planned. But Gino is interested in the mask, so he'll be coming with us to the bridge. I admit I was surprised to find out the mask was a stolen item, but let's leave the suitcases to the captain. We need to find out about that show. Let's go ask the bat. So literally, this was just a means with which we could get an audience with the captain. And also set up a little bit more of the justification for the secret show. Dude, do you think they traffic rare Pokemon there too? Ugh, nasty. A crew member. Let's ask where we can find the elevators. Excuse me, could you point up, please? Bridge using the elevators here are in front of us. Floor has an elevator on the left and the right side, but each one will get you there. Thank you. Couldn't use it earlier, didn't have a reason to. Tim, such a little baby. What? This is so just... Okay, the nose pass is literally just the ship's compass. Even if that were the case, why wouldn't they eventually invent a miniaturized version of that, right? Like, just because the Pokémon already exists, now you have to feed the Pokémon and give it housing, or you could just make a compass. The whole world is full of just weirdness like that. Pokémon would just be like animals. Nose. Nose paw. Nose paw? No. Nose. You love the mask inside? Oh, uh, the captain put it in front of you when he noticed that you were trying really hard to turn your head so you could see it. it made you that happy. Well, that's good. At least at least your life as a compass isn't the worst thing in the world. Nose. Oh. 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 So I guess it really does always face north. Well, that's got to be an interesting life. I mean, most, a lot of migratory animals have some sort of internal compass that they can feel, but to be able to have your entire body magnetized to such a degree, wouldn't he be affecting things around him? He wouldn't just be affected by electromagnetism? 
Unless, like, literally the laws of physics exist differently in this world. Wouldn't surprise me. I'll to the suitcase first. We're still trying to find Miss Rose's suitcase, although we're in the process of notifying every department about the mask. I hope every suitcase ends up where it should be. Where are you keeping that suitcase now? In front of Nosepass. Nosepass seems to have taken a shine to it. Do you know anything about the Prime Treasure Show? We'd love to know more about what kinds of what kind of show it is, but we can't get tickets. I'm really sorry, but I don't know much about the shows myself. Sorry not to be more help. All the shows are planned by the committee. You see, the ship is a little unusual. The passengers are actually the owners. All of the rooms are privately owned, and everything from the events on board to the next destination are decided by a committee run by the passengers. Oh, okay. I guess that's one way of explaining out the captain as being the bad guy. Wouldn't be surprised, but... So the passengers have more power than the captain. So I don't know anything about what shows might be planned. All of that's run by the committee, as I said. Well, thank you very much. It seems like the owner of the suitcase is also interested in that show. When I had a good look through the suitcase, I found a strange note. The Prime Treasure Show. Iced tea. The usual frillish. Umbrellos. Umbrellos and yellow deck chairs. Those are not random words, Tim. Would you mind using your brain? Like you've been trying to this entire... I know it's hard, but you can do it. I believe in you. There was something else besides the note. A ticket. I don't know what it's a ticket for, though. Probably to the show. Uh. Oh, that's it for him. Cool. There's still something we should look into. There is? What, the suitcase? Oh yeah, we want to we steal the ticket. Doesn't stay for what event, but has today's date on it. We're not going to take it? Not going to take okay, the ticket? See your notes. I already looked at that. Tim, Tim. Oh, now you have something to say. I literally just pressed on you. There was a bizarre note in the suitcase. No, it wasn't. Yeah, I wonder if it's related to the mask in some way. Could be some kind of secret code that lets us get into the show. Still don't know what kind of show it is. But we might be able to find out more if we follow the, what the note says. There was one thing on the note that we can start investigating immediately, right? Umbrellas and yellow deck chairs. Yeah, we did see them around the pool, but I didn't notice anything, anything unusual about them. Is there something else that you've got your attention on the note? Uh, iced tea. I think it's a little too broad to really investigate. Oh yeah, but we order it from the usual frillish. Oh, is that the special one that's up top? Yeah, probably. Let's go, uh, let's go beat the truth out of the frillish. Welcome back. We were just talking about you. Did you find out anything about the show? Well, even the captain didn't know anything about it. But we did manage to get some new information. The suitcase had a note in it. It had a few things written on it, but one of the things was the Prime Treasure Show. Uh -huh, that's quite a scoop, Tim! A stolen mask and a mysterious show! I don't know if he would have a vested interest in... I mean, if he's involved, obviously, he wouldn't want anybody to know. But if he's not involved, like, fucking hell, get my cameras in there, boy. First-hand scoop. He's totally planning to make it part of the program. Is that all he ever talks about? So you're going to investigate. What was the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I go now? Thank you. Goodbye. Are we going to get stopped by more strange noises from bedrooms? Can we just go inside the old lady's room? Oh, is this the usual frillish? Frill? About the usual frillish. I see, so you don't know what that means either. I don't think this is the usual frillish mentioned in the note. I get it, I get it. No need to get so agitated. Oh, it's saying that the frillish on the second floor of the deck is always slacking off. It's unfair that it gets to take things easily. Huh. So yeah, he's a he's a courier. Probably.
Oh, cool. I didn't notice the music changes, even though it's kind of shitty to begin with, but... Share with me your secret ways. I would like to order the iced tea. Doesn't ring a bell? Well, thanks anyway. You don't have much time to speak to the other Phyllis? Sure, lo sure looks like she has a lot of time to me. Keeping still is part of your job. You need to be ready to go all out at a moment's notice. Seems pretty proud of itself. It looks all sharp and serious, too. What's the deal with this one? Is this not the usual one? Um... Was it yellow umbrella? I don't remember. Let's see, note. Umbrellas. And yellow deck chair. This dude? No. I mean, that's umbrellas and yellow deck chair. That's umbrellas. And yellow deck chair. But no umbrellas. None of these things are the thing I need. Yeah, I don't care. Don't care what you have. <laughs> This pathfinding is just absolutely terrible. Oh, maybe they're up on the second floor. Given that the second floor really hasn't been used for anything else. Oh, God. That's a ping pong table, isn't it? <laughs> Imagine how many ping pongs they end up accidentally tossing into the ocean. I know I'd end up with a couple, especially since there's a bar there. Hmm. I could have sworn that that was the usual frillish, but there's nothing I can do about it. There's no more choices. I would have thought maybe sit down at the... Uh, place an order. There we go. Damn it! It doesn't do orders. Fruit? You don't know, huh? But you did run into an unusual customer. He was trying to order something that wasn't on the menu, and he was so persistent that you had chased, that you had to chase him away. What was he trying to order? You don't know? He said he wanted a book? Trying to order a book. Whoever it was making that mysterious order could be the owner of the suitcase. That's worth looking into anyway. Hey, Frelish, what was that guy like? He was lying around as if he owned the place, and he was blue. I mean, he was wearing blue clothing. And he was blue. I could have sworn it was that lazy one up top. On the second floor, I actually did some work for once today. Glad to see it finally takes some pride in its work, huh? Must be a real slacker. It's doing its job enough to impress its co-workers. Uh, blue shirt. I mean, that's yellow deck chair and umbrella. Didn't you just order something unusual from Frillish? Oh, you saw that? How embarrassing. I was trying to order a book, huh? You can't order books from the Frillish, too? Well, I thought you could, but it looks like I was wrong. Phyllis wouldn't take my order, so I gave up in the end. Why did you try to order a book? This is actually my first time on the ship, and I'm just trying to blend in with the people. It could just be uh, socially retarded, or he's a bad guy. I don't know how this game's written. I saw someone getting a book from Freelish, so I figured that must be how all of these high-class folks pass the time by the pool. Ah... Do you know which Frillish was the one carrying that book? And to be honest, all the Frillish looked the same to me. How about the one who uh, received the book? Oh, that I can tell you. It was a lady on the deck chair across from here. The woman with the chatino. The chicos. Such a weird combination of investigations. Yes. Why books? Are you Are you committing the crimes? Are you big crimes? I've never heard of such a thing. I said I don't know what you're talking about, and if you keep talking about this, I will murder you. Playing innocent, huh? I don't think we'll get any answers out of her. But that doesn't mean that we're out of options. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's literally talk right behind her. She did, huh? I knew we could trust these Pokemon. Let's hear what they have to say. The one with the sharp features. Oh, the Frillish on the second floor. Yeah, we couldn't just we couldn't just figure that out. We had to go through this BS inferencing process. 
sharp features. You didn't notice you need to work on your observational skills if you want to be a detective. They all have different features. Oh, the views was great from the second floor. So you went up there to get a look down from the edge of the second floor before your partner met with Frillish. Before she met with Frillish, huh? That must mean something. Was your partner acting funny when she was looking down from up there? You don't know, huh? You were just playing a game of counting everything down the first floor with her. What a bunch of children. Although the way that they've been portraying the Pokemon, they've got personalities, but they're all very uh, immature. Of course, every human is a caricature of a human being, too. Is there something stuck on me? You have a kick me sign on you now? Please? The hell does sharp features mean? I wish I could see on this tiny screen. Is it just the eyes? Are you the frillish in charge of delivering books? Oh, so you are. Do you think you could bring me one? You will if I order it properly. What do you mean? I'm ordering it right now. It's no use. What are we supposed to do? All it says is do it properly. I don't think it's going to tell us. Maybe there's some specific way to order it. I don't know. It's not like we got a note or anything. If we're going to place an order, do it properly. We'd love to, but you haven't told us what you mean by that. You can't tell us. Oh, thanks. thanks for getting us nowhere. Seems like there's a specific way in a specific order. The pathfinding is amazing. Also remember, Chichino told us a partner. Sin Chino. Counting something. Why don't we put all the information we have together? Oh boy, we're gonna solve them case notes. How do we order? If we place an order with the Frillish on the second floor, it'll bring us a book, apparently. So there's uh, gotta be some secret in how we place an order. I don't suppose you found any hints on that note, did you? Let's see, the show, let's see event, the usual Frillish, it's a word in the mysterious note, iced tea, umbrellas and yellow chairs, it's a word in the mysterious note. I mean, imagine you would say you order iced tea, but you don't start with that. I don't know, we'll try that for a second. Now, why do you think that? Um, Chinchino's partner was apparently counting something on the deck. Partner got a book from Frillish. There was a man wearing blue clothes who ordered a book from the Frillish. Shit. What would he be counting? But the... Oh, okay. The... No, I didn't want to just leave. I didn't hit the reset button. Place an order with the frillish on the second Yellow chairs floor. and umbrellas. We'll That's what it is. Book, apparently. So now we have to go and count them. Yeah. We place an order. Did you stop? I don't suppose you found any hints on that note, did you? you literally just said this. Now why do you think that? You're right. She was the one who got the book. She was super busy counting something. What was it? Now I remember. The umbrellas and yellow deck chairs. The number of umbrellas and the chairs. Now that's two different numbers. Can you think of anything related to this? Yep. Not the ticket. Not the ticket. Yeah, order sheet. Now I get it. Sugar and Here's number. The the two numbers stand for the number of teas and sugar cubes we order from Frillish. Yeah, at least that mystery is solved. Let's go place our order. Shit, do we actually have to count them or is it just going to do it for us? I guess we could. Kill anybody. Yeah, it looks like we could probably have to. Hey, Tim. Tim. All right, let's go find a spot where we can look down on the whole first floor. Oh, cool. So we don't actually have to wander around back and forth. End of the second floor deck. Here yeah, we should go have a look. Mm. Probably around right here. Where were this dude standing? Yep. Count the umbrellas and deck chairs. We should remember to check both. <laughs> wow, thank you. Amazing. Do we actually have to look at each one? We do. Two yellow deck chairs on the left. Three umbrellas. Five yellow deck chairs on the right. 
three umbrellas. So seven and six. Six sugar cubes, seven cups of ice from the frillish. Do I actually have to fill out the order sheet though and hand it to him? Me. There you go. Fruit? Finally figured out how to order. Then prove it. All right, you've asked for it. Uh, shit. I mixed up which one was which. Six and seven. I'll say seven and six. Seven sugar cubes and six ice teas. Ah, yeah, I mixed them up. It's like the conversation never happened. And we can try as many times as you want, because kids game, you can't fail. Wow, he brought a book. Oh my, is that an order sheet for the auction? The auction! Who fucking called it? <laughs> Prime treasure auction information. Be sure to have your ticket with you. The dress code is semi-formal. Don't tell me you don't know what dress code means. It's basically telling it. Okay, thank you. That's what it says, yeah. So there wasn't going to be a show in that room at all. It's an auction. I guess this is his lineup. This is, this is such a Saturday morning kids cartoon show. Uh. <laughs> Detective's cape. Henry Brothers recipe book. Mask of Antiquity. The owner of the suitcase must have intended to put the mask up for bid. But the mask is a stolen item. Yeah, there's no ordinary auction. It's almost like a black market. Let's take a look. R is on the list, too. Literally a bioweapon. It looks like whoever wins the bid gets exclusive buying rights for six months. We can't let that happen. We've got to stop them. Now, how about we let the, the, the auction happen and then, like, have a whole squadron of police waiting for us, because we've got evidence. <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much about that. I think we'll be able to... I don't think we'll be able to walk right in. So we have to have your ticket with you and a dress code semi-formal. Oh, so we just need a dress. All we need to do is meet the conditions. Hey, we'll go steal the grandpa's clothes! It must be the ticket for the secret auction. Let's go to the bridge and take a closer look at it. It looks like there's no show in that room. <laughs> it's a secret auction where they sell everything, even <laughs> stolen goods. So now I'm curious if Keith is planning on attending. I fucking called it literally the moment we walked into a cruise ship. I don't know. In the very beginning of the game, it was him who didn't used to be able to talk. And our father, who is a detective that we're chasing down, we're trying to figure out what happened. His car got uh, tampered with, and he careened off of a ledge. And apparently they were both dying, and Pikachu asked Mewtwo to help save them both. And Mewtwo was like, alright, go detective shit. And since he came back, now he behaves like our dad. Like, he likes coffee, and he likes sweets, and he's a womanizer. He talks like this. So it's like he melded their consciousness or something, and he's gonna pull them apart once we're done with this. It's an interesting buddy cop scenario, but, like, Jesus Christ. So the case of the switched-out suitcase and the location of R have both led us to one place, the Prime Treasure Show. Let's talk to the captain and get that ticket. Do you play the Rocket League? Um, I have it. I've never really picked it up. Not a ha not not a huge fan of the, the PvP stuff, but... I might. Probably do it on the Switch, though, to be honest. If I ever did. Excuse me. Oh, hello, Tim. Is there a problem? Well, yes. You see, the mask has gone missing. Huh? I took my eyes off it for a moment, and it disappeared. So, do you think it was stolen? No. The only ones in the room were me and Nosepass. Nobody else came in. What could have happened? Hmm. Let's ask Nosepass. Hey, did you see anything? No. Mm -hmm. Nose bark. No nose bark. It disappeared in just the blink of an eye. How could that be? Nose bark. You say that's the truth, huh? Hmm. So it's a closed room robbery. 
This should be very interesting. What do you mean, how am I streaming it? Solve the theft. No, this is this, this is a 3DS game. Playing a 3DS Let's here. See if we can find any trace of it in the room. Okay. Maybe it is an invisible Pokemon. There's a custom firmware that lets you stream the 3DS over a local area network, over whatever router you have. And I'm just capturing that on my PC and then streaming it out. Well, they got sonar! They got sonar, but they can't invent a compass. Yeah, of course, that's how technology works. No, not a network cable. It's over Wi-Fi. The local area network, though, is what's... Yeah. Um, because that costs... If I wanted to have a... If I want, well, yeah, but it's free. See, if if I wanted to capture card a 3DS, you have to send it in and have them modif the modify it, which they charge like $600 for. So, no, I'm not going to do that. Especially not for a game of this resolution. Like, it doesn't really make much sense if I can do it for free. I couldn't interact with anything. Is the ticket there anymore? Or did they take that too? What on earth is going on? Yeah, we didn't even look. I was busy steering the ship when the incident happened. Nospas suddenly started raising off us. Nospas ate the mask? The only ones in the room were you and the Nospas. So the mask, the ticket, and the note all disappeared. There were a few people who came and went before the incident, of course. Dude, we got an invis- It's not the Aselgore, right? I hope not. That'd be terrible. One was in charge of steering the ship until I arrived. The other came in to make a regular report and left as soon as he was done. They probably are hanging around the lounge. Guess we should see what they have to say. Ghost. The mask you really liked has disappeared. I love we're not even telling the captain that there's an... an illegal auction house in his ship. I don't know, is that it? I mean, the things that are in it are illegal, but does that make the auction itself illegal? About when the incident occurred, about something strange. So we're staring the mask the whole time, and then it's just poof, all gone. Moved where you couldn't see it for a. Ah! Things moved back to the original position, and the mask was gone. Ah, okay. So. The guy that was steering the ship potentially did it. It wasn't in the blink of an eye. Some cold water splashed onto your head when the mask was out of your view. Water? Doesn't seem like there'd be a leak anywhere. That was everything we could ask him, yeah? Yeah, nothing else really worth talking about there. Yeah, there are some sacrifices. Oh, we're not done here? I guess there was something I wasn't missing. Or I wasn't uh, interacting with. There are, uh, are some sa definitely sacrifices you have to make in order to stream over the network. To capture it. Mostly being the frame rate. Like, it averages about 35 FPS, but the game runs at a solid 60. Not to mention the fact that if the game requires more processing power, then it loses more quality in uh, the encoding before it sends it to the, the router. <laughs> Oh, we haven't actually. Cool. Now we can leave. Hey. Let's head to the lounge, talk to the two crew members who came into the room. So one of the crew members is just, Hey guys, let's do crimes. They're literally just standing right there. Do you have a moment? I'd like to ask you about how things seemed on the bridge. Well, the captain told us you had gone to the bridge, so... Ah, I see. I did indeed go to the bridge earlier. Has something happened? The ma <laughs> We pride ourselves on operating a safe, secure cruise. We capture the culprit in no time. If there's anything I can do to help, just ask. About the mask, about his time on the bridge, about the luxury cruise ship. I was uh, at the bridge steering the ship. 
I'm gonna assume it was him. But I went on break because the captain arrived and took over. Did you notice anything odd happen while you were on bridge? Nothing on the bridge! The only thing out of the ordinary today happened while I was taking a break on the lounge. The Pokemon next to me spilled its juice. That's about it, really. C excuse? Yeah, that's odd. The Pokemon spilling juice. It's not like it just, just could happen. I do remember seeing the mask. I was told not to touch it. It must have been very valuable. It doesn't look like it, does it? It was placed in front of the nose pass. Actually, nose pass seemed to really like the mask. It was staring at it constantly. Maybe nose pass thinks uh, the mask is a Pokemon similar to itself. And you? Something happened on the bridge. I went to the bridge to deliver my periodic report. Didn't have much to report on, so once I was done, I left the room. Not as anything unusual. Well, I did see Nose Pask had a mask in front of it, but nothing besides. Oh, it wasn't in the room, but there was a strange thing I noticed. When I stepped out into the hallway after just delivering a report, I noticed it was wet. Yes, and that's it. It was on uh, the top floor, so we don't get any waves or anything. Could have been the captain spilled a drink, I guess. So Nose Pass said he uh, got got a little splash on him, so it happened at the time. When I was on the deck, one of the passengers wanted to know when my next trip up to the bridge would be. He was a famous chef, Jinno. Made a point to double-check the time. Even after I had told him, he made it seem like it was something very important. The crew member's testimony was interesting. Sounds like Jinno was uh, really interested in finding out exactly the crew member that was going up to the bridge. You suspect Gino? I don't think the testimony is enough to say he's a suspect. You're right. Testimony was all we had, but Gino also has a motive for wanting the contents of the suitcase. The suitcase had a ticket to the auction, and there was something in the auction lineup that Gino would probably want. Oh, yeah. He was trying to recreate the recipe of the Henry Brothers. If that recipe book is real, he's got every reason to want it. Dumb. I think it's more likely that the suitcase is actually Gino's. The theft could have just been reclaiming the contents of his own bag. We should uh, find out what Gino is up to. Let's ask Amelia and Graham first. Are they going to still be over here? Yep. Gino was here for a while, but he headed out, saying he was going to the deck. Gino loves to go to the second floor of the deck when he needs to think. Uh, should go find him, though. He wanted to sit on an interview with the captain. No reason to talk to Amelia. Hey! Can I borrow your clothing? Headed back to our room. Is Snubble okay? Are you sure it's not just still scared of you, Pikachu? Oh, he was worried about Snubble. You see, my darling here accidentally spilled its juice when we were at the lounge. Huh? It's been shaking like that ever since, I think. It may have given himself a little scare. So Snubble's the Pokemon that the crew member was talking about. Still, you spilled your juice? You're clumsier than I thought. You didn't spill the juice. It was someone else's fault? You say something invisible drank the juice, you saw it disappear right in front of you. And so you got surprised and growled at it, at which point the cup fell over. At the same time, what looked like a Pokemon appeared for an instant and said, My juice! It bumped into you when it made a run for it. It was wet and cold. Water again. You gonna tell me what it looked like? Don't worry, I'm sure the suitcase will show up soon, just be patient. No, no, I'm good. Thanks. You gonna bling at me again? <laughs> Nobody's always talking to you, but he's still, like, trying to path to you. wonder which Pokemon it is that it saw. It's definitely worth looking into. First, let's check with Gino. What Pokemon can go invisible in this water type? I'm drawing a blank. 
Isn't there a Pokemon that just is straight up invisible when it's in water? I know there's this really, really shitty Russian movie called Gar The Guardians. And it's one of the ladies is just she can go invisible when she's in water. It's a really stupid, hilarious movie. I thought Genie was supposed to be on the second floor. Oh, yep, he is. I just walked right by him. What is it? <laughs> Look at my pencil mustache. I'm better than you. Apparently that mask has been stolen. It seems rather brash for someone to steal a stolen item. And who's the culprit? I'm still investigating. You are? Oh, that's right. You're a detective, aren't you? Mr. Garam mentioned that to me. How have you been spending your day today, Mr. Gino? I've just been relaxing on the deck since I left the lounge. Although one of the Pokemon at the pool decided to play a prank and splash me with water. So I came up to the second floor to dry off. Likely story. Well, yes, but it was a great way to get some time to think. I assume you were thinking about recipes? <laughs> That's right. The Henry's Brothers recipes are so are to be precise. I've almost got it. If I succeed in recreating them, I will gain the attention of every gourmet in the world. I've heard there's a book with all of the recipes in it. Oh, you mean the Henry Brothers recipe book? If it existed, you wouldn't be going through all this trouble. The recipes are all lost. It's said that no one will ever be able to taste the Henry Brothers cuisine again. That's why recreating the recipes is so meaningful. You know, that's nice. They give you the option to look into the, the world building here, but at the same time, there's no, like, you have to know these things beforehand. More and more like an interrogation. Do you think I'm the culprit? Oh, no, it's not that. Well, just so we're clear, I was on the deck ever since I left the lounge. You can't ask around downstairs if you like. I'm sure someone saw me get doused at the pool. Yeah. Something to do with a water Pokemon? I am still suspicious of Gino, but it seems like he hasn't got been to the bridge. We should gather some testimony about Gino. Maybe the Pokemon at the pool knows something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys know any invisible water Pokemon? That shit, I didn't ask about that last time. Wait, one of your balloons popped and splashed a person with water when you were playing with Lapras. What exactly happened? The balloon was empty, but when it popped, a Pokemon suddenly appeared from inside, and the person got splashed when that Pokemon fell into the pool. So wait, there were Pokemon in an empty balloon? How's that even possible? Oh, goodbye, Pikachu. Into the pool you go. So he accidentally got caught? You obviously saw me in that balloon, but the ones they're talking about was apparently completely empty, and the Pokemon that suddenly appeared in the balloon and fell into the pool then ran off towards the same person. Must have been Gino. But what does it mean? So his partner Pokemon is invisible. Hmm. The hell kind of Pokemon can do that? Hmm. An invisible Pokemon. Water drops at the bridge. Of course, I got it. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Do not jump on the Lapras. A bolt of brilliance. Tim, I figured it out. And he's dead. End of game. Roll credits. How did we get back over here? Jesus. The one who stole the mask from the bridge must be that invisible Pokemon. Gino certainly has an interesting partner. Think about how they may have done it. It's important we figure out how the invisible Pokemon committed the crime. Is there testimony that tells us when it got onto the bridge? Um, let's see. Nothing strange. People who entered next. Only Tim and two crew members after the captain took the suitcase to the bridge. I, I would think it would be that one. No? Okay. Make fun of me real quick. No, that's not right. He switched with the captain, but there was nothing strange. Not, well, I mean, okay, there was something strange. Is that why it's not right? No, that's Is not it the right. snubble? When leaving the room after reporting to the captain, the floor was wet. Okay. The invisible Pokemon fell into the pool, and then 
it came in with a crew member. Okay, so it wasn't water type, it was just in the pool. That? That's why the floor was wet when the crew member left. Now we need to figure out how it stole the mask. After the mask disappeared, was there testimony that helps us figure out how? A uh, drink that was on the table suddenly vanished. How did the mask disappear? No? I mean, he turned and then he... Just, what, do you, what do you mean, how the... No, the invisible no. Pokemon picked it up? I... I okay, right. how does that fit? Somehow a drink disappeared. That must have been caused by the invisible Pokemon, too. So if it just I'll enters its body. That Pokemon puts in its mouth oh, okay. I suppose that makes Which sense. Means the mask is in its mouth. So all we need to do is punch it in the face. Sounds good. Jesus, I've been streaming for eight hours. I'm not even done with the game. The game's not supposed to take more than eight hours. Ugh. Guess that just means I'm bad at games. Now we all know how the crime was committed. All we need to figure out is exactly which Pokemon the invisible Pokemon is. Oh yeah, Pokedex stuff. Yes, before we accuse him, we must learn about what invisible Pokemons there are. We didn't even have to walk down the hallway that time. Like, the game wastes your time, but it wastes your time in ways that kind of thematically are appropriate. Oh, fucking yeah, the Kecleon. Now I remember. The bullshit invisible walls in third gen. It can become invisible, but it can't hide the zigzag pattern on its belly. It will reveal itself if it gets surprised. This could be useful. Tim, gather everyone. No, 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 don't, don't like, figure out how to get into the goddamn... Secret auction. Just like bring everybody up Everyone. to the bridge now. That's I fine. Solved the mystery. <laughs> I knew we could count on you, Tim. Please tell us who's. I wonder if he brought this. the Kecleon right. with him and is in the room with us. You got this. You know who did it. It was Frillish. The one responsible for the missing item is a certain Pokemon. Pokemon? But how? The captain assured us that he didn't see anything. Right. Nothing suspicious. That's because he room. was drinking. I'm afraid that you must be mistaken. No. I'm not mistaken at all. I'll Ready for some exactly Scooby Doo level confessions down. again? This specific Pokemon can make itself invisible, so the captain didn't see it. It snuck into the room with the captain and Nosepass and committed the crime while they were distracted. Hmm. Then. What happened to my bag? Yeah. <laughs> the culprit still has your bag, too. And is here in this room, as part of this group. And so is the mysterious Pokémon. Tim, look carefully. You see it, right? You gotta be fucking kidding me. So who is the culprit? It's Graham! It's clearly Graham! I'll tell you the culprit. You, Gino. What? Is this a joke? I don't know any mysterious Pokemon. Absolutely ridiculous. Yes, you do. It's Kecleon, and it's right beside you. Uh, boo. Yeah! Oh, the mask! Is this some kind of joke? I don't know this Pokemon. And what is the mask doing here? Still trying to play innocent, aren't you? Tell Adorable. him what we know, Tim. Gino, you boarded this ship for a reason. To achieve your goal, isn't that right? I don't know what you mean. I came for a vacation, not to achieve a goal. You sure about that? I think the reason you're here is for the secret auction. A secret auction? What are you talking about? Right here's the proof. A list of all the items offered. It has the Henri Brothers recipe book. Coincidence? This is what you really wanted, isn't it? Do you remember what you said earlier? 
You were close to recreating the recipes of the Army Brothers? Recipes that were lost forever? You're so sad. That was a lie. You were counting on getting the recipe book, weren't you? <sighs> what was I supposed to do, huh? I ran out of ideas for Not even trying anymore. I need to amaze my customers. And that's Swear to God, you could just pressure, intimidate right? them into confessing. Do you know why? You were a genius chef. I never expected you to do something like this. Gino, no. No matter how talented you are, you'll get rusty if you stop trying to improve. Back to washing dishes for you. Oh, Pikachu. So Gino was the culprit, huh? All right, I guess that case is closed. Solve the case of the suitcase, but there's still more for us to do. We'll have to infiltrate the auction if we want to catch Keith. I didn't expect there to be a secret auction on this ship. I doubt I could get in, wearing a hoodie. You know what? I'll go investigate. I brought a dress for conducting the interviews. What? I can't let you go alone. It's too dangerous. Don't worry about me. Yes, I'm she will be auctioned things. off. I don't know. Hmm. If only we could get past the dress code. It sounds like it's a suit you need. Ha! Maybe I called that my too. Husband's jacket would work for you. Are you sure? But it must be very special to you. Oh, it's fine. I'm happy to help you out. Why That's do you so have nice your late you. husband's Lucky jacket you, on you? Well, maybe they just like owned this particular room, so there's. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. I'm ready to go. Pikachu isn't wearing pants. Wow. Looking good, Amelia. Tim, look. Uh, 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 you look really great, Amelia. What is forced romance? Thanks, Tim, you look pretty sharp, too. That's nice to hear, huh? The suit's more classy than you are, but hey. Hmm. Oh, you're a very handsome young man. Wouldn't you love to hear that from your father? Oh, yes. Pikachu, this is for you. Huh? Bowtie? What's that? Pikachu, a tie. Miss Rose, thank you so much. Yeah, take your detective hat off first, please. Now we're all set to go capture Keith. Wait, that's not the end of the chapter? <laughs> well, You're not even you going to take your hat off? Who's the classy one now? I hope that bow tie isn't too tight for what it. What a dork. No problem. It's all in the name of fashion. Crocker. Crocker Crocker. Oh, what's up? Is there some kind of problem? Croc. Croc. Crocker. Crocker Crocker. Yeah, we saw you try to enter earlier. I look shady. It's not true. You're very rude. Crocker. Uh, these goons wouldn't know style if it hit him over the head. Tim. Show them our tickets. Tick, ticket. Singular. One person is allowed inside. Yes, sir. Thank you. The hell yes. kind of double arm is that? Please put these on once you're inside. Kura. Oh, are they masks? Kura. Maintain anonymity. <laughs> you know how to maintain anonymity? By taking off your dumb hat, Pikachu. Hmm. It looks like Keith hasn't arrived yet. Yeah, no oh, I love it. Guy with a He's wearing a bow tie and a hat and a mask. It's a bizarre atmosphere of this place anyway. Tim, over here. I like here. his mask though. It's really Wait cool. Up, Pikachu. Amelia, be careful, all right? Yeah. I'll let you know if I see anyone suspicious. Thanks. Don't fucking blink at me like that. All right. Well, at least these masks should keep our identities somewhat hidden. Be take off your hat. You come Don't for your heat. heat soon. Hey, Tim. Tim. Check out the hall until the auction starts. All right. I think that's uh, that's a long enough of a stream today. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to finish this up tomorrow, but it'll be fun. <sighs> Thanks for watching. I'll uh, I'll see you in the next stream. Bye.